I'd rather break this glass and slash my wrists. Okay, fine, I'll get tacos by myself. Sorry I asked on IN. No, no, Daniel Craig said that about being in another James Bond movie. I guess he hates it. Oh, they must have taken him out of context. So you don't think he realized James Bond is a sexist, misogynist dinosaur, a relic of the Cold War. And an obsolete national defense strategy? Because if James Bond movies were about saving today's world, they'd star a different hero. Are you trying to Trevelyan me right now? Because if so, and look, I mean this in the nicest possible way, but you are no Sean Bean, my friend. Like in the, in the handsomeness department? Because in the movie he's got like a Bernie, Bernie uh, uh, face. It, it's fine, I wouldn't want to be your Alex Trevelyan anyway. Alec! God damn it, it's Alec for the 87th time. Jorms Bun's 60s skill set is obsolete. We aren't perma-fighting the Russians anymore. Neither is Bond! Bond, damn it! Bond hasn't fought a Soviet since the living daylight. Ugh, ugh, Dalton Bond, no, no. Modern Bond fights realistic enemies, terrorists, disgruntled ex-spies, nuclear proliferation, and fake Rupert Murdoch. Who are all basically Blofeld, an elaborately weird extortionist with colorful henchmen and a base that goes boom real good. Yeah. Bond movies take all kinds of real problems and turn them into guy with weird face thing. That's all they know how to do. And, and they're so out of ideas, they're making Spectre, and it's called that because they're bringing Blofeld back from the dead. There's precedent. Blofeld's been resurrected before. Diamonds are forever. It's canon. Here's some more James Bond canon, blowing up foreign neighborhoods and the London Underground and whole other chunks of major cities just because. Maybe you could get away with that in the Kennedy years, but today, someone would vine it. Also, very hard to be undercover when you're also a YouTube parkour sensation. That's because Bond knows that no single life or building or awesomely placed truck of fragile stuff is more important than national security. Yeah, but if MI6 really cared about national security, they would have cut Bond loose long ago. A millennial Bond oh. would stop modern threats, like cybercrime. Yeah, but he's got Q! You can't have a team of Qs, even Q says so. Once Mr. Skinny Slacks finds and geolocates a black hat, we still have to have Mr. Bond, James Bond, go into the field and snap the guy's keyboard in half. Then, if there's time left, hot up with a lady assassin. Okay, so that's not how it works in the real world? Oh, okay, fine. Thanks. Snap the guy's iPad Galaxy Mini Nano in half. Then hot tub with a lady assassin. A, a realistic cybercrime strategy isn't built on preventing attacks before they happen. The NSA says Chinese hackers alone launched more than 600 cyber attacks on the US in the last five years. And that's just from China. You can't whack a mole an entire planet of hackers. At the very least, you'd call it hack a mole. And if we always retaliate like that, a lot of times we'll retaliate against the wrong target, because some hackers are very good at covering their tracks. That's why America's director of intelligence says we should think before we throw rocks. And why people like Robert Kanaki, former head of cybersecurity policy at the National Security Council, say that hacks are going to happen. So the thing to do is find out when hacks happened and where and how badly, and then just plan accordingly. A room full of dorks refreshing websites isn't a cyber terrorism deterrent or even a terrorism deterrent because, FYI, not all of our enemies learned how to code. And except for the occasional SEAL Team 6 operation, we send drones after those kind of terrorists. Not a lone wolf alcoholic. Well, yeah, well, duh, but no one wants to watch a movie about a bunch of flying death robots. And yes, Alex, I understand how awesome I accidentally made that sound. Yeah, drones are action-y, yeah, uh, because they cause more collateral damage than Roger Moore at a World Heritage Site. A lot of drone attacks get the go-ahead without a positive terrorist ID first, and missile explosions are not sniper precise. That's how, through November of 2014, the U.S. has targeted 41 men in Pakistan for drone strikes, but they've killed 1,147 people in the process of trying to hit those guys. How do you have all of these things memorized? Oh, honey, did you practice this conversation beforehand? I could barely sleep. I was so excited. Your turn. Go ahead. Okay. Go okay. Ahead. Okay. So what I'm saying is, why don't we ground the drones, scrap them for laser watch parts, then send a team of awesome James Bonds in instead? We could call it Mission Sky. Fall. No, not that. Something else. I'm saying what we need more than a James Bond is somebody who could use those talents to make our drone program work better. If they could make our murder bots any more effective and less messy, that would have lasting benefits for our hard power and soft power. Soft power? Ugh, you can't have a James Bond movie about soft power. They tried it once with Quantum of Solace. And let me just say, I almost walked out of that movie the third time 
I saw it in theaters. You know, for being terrible, Quantum of Solace is brilliant, right? The villain's scheme is to win a water war. That is a relevant modern problem. The worse climate change and pollution get, the more resource wars there are gonna be. Climate change affects everybody equally. A rising tide, water worlds, all boats. No one's saying that environmental issues are a matter of national security. Whenever you want to explain that. That is a visual representation of the Pentagon's 20-page climate change adaptation roadmap, which says that food and water issues create political instability, which foments extremism and terrorism. Wrecking our environment is the biggest security risk there is. Do you prop props? It's not fair. It's really hard to find paper at an internet company. Fun fact. Okay, so James Bond drives a hybrid Aston Martin on his ass-kicking missions to save the world. Representing something in fiction can inspire real-world change. Like, there's this documentary called Legends of the Night about all kinds of people doing all kinds of good in the world because they've been inspired by Batman. Right? If James Bond became the face of not literally lighting oil on fire, he could make a tangible environmental difference. We don't need a slacktivist James Bond who sits around hashtagging energy awareness. <laughs> What's next? Uh, a James Bond ice bucket challenge? Pinterest Snapchat meerkat. To you know the Ice Bucket Challenge raised $115 million in six weeks, right? There's literally no possible way you could have known the conversation would go in this direction. And How? that the Johns Hopkins researchers who just made the latest big ALS breakthrough credited Ice Bucket Challenge funding with facilitating their work. Yeah, well, I can point to a thousand different ways in which that is an infinitely more boring movie than getting drunk, gambling, and blowing up a casino. And I can point to a thousand ways our world needs heroes who don't shoot first, who think before they act, who gather groups of people together for a common cause, and who don't burn up four continents per movie just to bang two broads. Well then congratulations, because A number one meathead Bond Daniel Craig is quitting, which is a tragedy because he is awesome. Now. Can we just take a moment to do some Bond speculation? I need to get back to work, uh, but I will allow one moment of us uh, simultaneously saying who we think should be James Bond uh, on the count of three. Okay, on three. One, one two, two, three. three. Judy, Judy Dench, Dench. Obviously. 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 Hey, you guys, thank you so much for watching our, our video about James Bond yeah, and Spectre you. in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so we want to know who do you think is going to be the next James Bond, or would be a good option? You know, yeah. we had Judy Dench. Judy Dench but, is an um, option. I think Emma Thompson Emma is an option. Thompson, for sure, Helen Mirren. Helen Mirren uh, would be amazing. Maggie Smith. Maggie Smith would be very. Maggie good. Smith would be amazing. What about what about Lady Mary from from Downton? Yeah, from that Downton lady Abbey. who's in that one lady who's in all the Python sketches, like when they need oh, yeah, a lady, lady who's from not all them. The Python matches. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>